Okay, now we're going to quickly go through here and add some more markups to some of the other panels. Um, we'll just kind of quickly drop some stuff in here so you can get an idea of, of the different things. So we'll do a pan here. I'm going to pan up. Do a kind of a pan tilt. We didn't add a tilt um, feature in here, so pan kind of serves as a pan and tilt. Um, obviously, if you move the boxes, you know, up from one another, then that kind of works a tilt in there. So um, you kind of have to use your imagination with that one. Okay, and then um, let's see here. She realizes what she did. Put a note in there. We're done. Okay. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but we haven't talked about this yet, but I'll go over it right now. This is your panel view navigator. So we can actually go down here and click on the arrows and navigate between the panels um, this way. Or if you've got a large number of panels, you can actually click here and scroll, um, scroll through them and navigate through them that way. So um, let's say if we want to go to the end, you can just do that. So what we'll do is go back here. All right, we're going to do a push in on these, on this panel here. So, uh, so this is a dolly in. So a dolly out would be just like that, basically. So it flips the arrows, and then your green is your starting point, and then the red is the end point. Now, let's say for whatever reason you don't want to end there. If you want to end a little closer, what you can do is actually just zoom in on the frame, and so that'll be your new end point there. So. Um, but we want to have the entire frame because we actually took this picture with the intent of going to the widest point. So we're going to push in right just like this. Okay, done. And we'll set the duration on this one to be a little bit longer. Six seconds. I'll go over the rotational arrows right now. So. Um, this you know assumes that your uh, rotational um, direction will be from back to front and you click on this and it's uh, from front to back so um, you can basically uh, infer or, or show markups that you know essentially the character on the right would be turning her head uh, to the right and if you wanted to do the one for the other character you could just do this and flip it and so that she'd be turning her head to the left like that and so here done And then uh, we'll do do some dialogue in here in the notes section. You can really do whatever you want to um, with these notes. Um, you can do uh, you know a screen direction or dialogue. We'll do a let's do a push in here on our creepy guy character. Okay, and um, I think this is a good time to talk about audio. So this is our audio feature down here. Um, it's a little boom mic you can click on. And what it will do is it will record audio for the length that you set at your duration uh, down here. So if we were to just record now, it would record three seconds of audio and then crop off anything else you record. We want to record this one a little bit longer. Let's do eight seconds here. Well, it brings up a record button here. So if we hit record, we can just record our audio. So I'll do some audio for this guy. Your stops now. Come with me. That is my creepiest voice I could have. So we play this back. Your stops now. Come with me. Okay. I don't like that. So let's do this again. Do I want to remove audio? Yes. This is your stop. Come with me. I'm going to play it back. This is your stop. Come with me. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and close that out. And then let's have a response from her. What you mean? I'm not coming with you. Let's try it. What you mean? I'm not coming with you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so done. Okay. We'll do audio here for this one, too. Who are you? Okay, I'll go back to the audio. Who are you? I can remove this. Who are you? Okay. So, done. I'm going to close down the duration on this one a little bit, too. Go back here. This pushes a little bit longer. There's a three-second duration on this one. Okay, I think we're ready to preview these now. Go down to our watch button and send it off. Okay, so let's uh, tweak the timing on this one just a little bit and bring this down to four seconds. We can just do a quick preview here. We don't need to see the whole thing. Who are you? This is your stop. Come with me. What you mean? I'm not coming with you. Okay, there you go. And uh, once you get to the point where you feel like you're... Uh, your boards are pretty dialed in and you want to send it off to someone, you can go into your menu and hit export as PDF. So it renders the panels and uh, it will launch your uh, mail client and you can email um, your uh, PDFs to whoever you want to. Hope you enjoyed this crash course tutorial on Hitchcock and please email us if you have any questions. You can visit us at www.cinemac.com.